What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel first and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free general collective reading for Sign of Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb Behavior of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for Sign of Virgo for mid-April of 2022. Um, I did get one channel message in as I was meditating on your mid-April of 2022's energy, Virgo. And the um, channel message I received was... Um, Someone from your past is about to contact you soon and try to bleed you dry of all the information you know, some on one person, some on two plus people. It would not be smart to give the information. That's what I heard. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads and take it or not. You, Everybody that's been watching my channel for a hot minute, you know that. But that is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It may be for one of you guys. It may be for 500 of you guys. I'm not sure. But only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates. But it's at least for, well, at least for two of you guys. Because for one of you guys, it's going to be somebody. It's somebody from your past definitely is about to contact you for sure. But I say it's for at least two of you guys because one of you guys, you're about to be asked on information of one person from your past. I mean, I'm sorry, a person in your past is about to contact you, but you're about to be asked from the person in your past that's about to contact you, some of you guys on one person, some on two plus people. So that's why I say it's at least for two of you guys in the universe. Um, I think it's current people in your life that you're about to be asked on, about this information on. Um, it could be anybody. It could be a neighbor, a friend, a family member, a friend of me, a uh, um anybody it could be anybody a lover a partner anybody but i feel it's somebody currently in your life because there's a reason somebody from your past is about to contact you about this person or people i think it's about somebody currently in your life in some shape or fashion um but i heard the spiritual download it would not be smart to give the information spirit messages you have for sign of Virgo. so whoever this person of your past is and however they apply in your life Virgo. You could be a masculine or thin Virgo, I'm feeling, if that message resonates for you. But the spiritual download in that was it would not be smart to give it. Of course, you have free will and you can get the information if you want. But the spiritual download was it would not be smart to give it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have inside of Virgo. I heard they're going to try to bleed you dry of the information on this person or people. So they're going to want to know everything you know on this person. But there is strategic reason or reasons that they want to know this. And I don't feel it's somebody that has good intentions. Um, I'm serious. It is a person of your past and I don't feel they have good intentions. Um, I don't feel it's like a official person. You know, I don't feel it's like official person energy. I feel it's somebody that wants to take this, inter um, this information and use it against the person cu um, currently in your life. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Of course, use your own logic, reason, and intuition, um, and you have free will. You can give it if you want. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for sign of Virgo. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,155 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you decide to donate. It helps support a single mama and two kids income stream. So I truly appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I really do. Key successful outcome to your problem. Kite vacation. Wow, these are great. That's the best combo I've gotten in the sign reading so far. Virgo. Spirit messages you have for Virgo. A bikini is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Holy shit, I heard a bikini. Too many. So maybe you're dealing with somebody with addictions or you have addictions or you are emotional about person, people, place, or situation or someone is emotional about you or about person, people, place, or situation. How that resonates. 
A bikini is about to become significant in Virgo's life. Whoa, Virgo. So are you getting your body right for a bikini? Just saying, just saying. I'm, I'm trying, just saying. Or maybe you have a significant other that's about to rock a bikini. Or maybe you're single and you go to the beach and you see somebody in a bikini. But somehow a bikini is about to become significant in a, a Virgo life. And I think it's about to become a positive, <laughs> positive influence in a Virgo's life. <laughs> Just saying, just saying. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Eagle spirit, spirit has your back. Wow, these are great. Spirit message this year, I'm sorry, Virgo. A Virgo is about to get into a very heated argument with another Virgo. Two feminine energies. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to get into a very heated argument with another Virgo. Two fem energies. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's two Virgo energies, two fem Virgo energies in this situation. Um... It could be you getting into an argument with another Finn Virgo, if you are a Finn Vir Virgo, possibly. But it's definitely two Finn Virgos about to get into a heated argument. It sounds like verbal. It doesn't sound like it's physical, thank God. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Number five, uh, sorry, 33, 23, 5, or 28 could be very significant numbers in one slide. 33, 23, 5, or 20, 20. Uh, 28, sorry. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 33, 23, 5, or 28. Also, um, you could be dealing with the earth sign. Oh, you've got double earth sign energy. Um, you could be dealing with earth sign energy. you got double earth sign energy. Um, horse spirit and eagle spirit, they're both, both earth sign energy. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Um, so you could deal with definitely, some of you, I feel you're definitely dealing with another earth sign. The Finn Virgo about to get into an argument with another Finn Virgo, you're definitely dealing with another earth sign because that's another, that's another Virgo. So just saying, just saying. So double earth sign energy here. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy strong in here. A lot of earth sign energy. If you think anyone else could benefit from my channel or the messages or um, or you think would like my channel or the messages, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos, um, word of mouth or social media, I very much appreciate it. Whew. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. A Virgo is about to retire soon and move back home. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to retire soon and move back home, is what I heard. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, Virgs. At least one of you guys is about to retire soon, I heard, and move back home. So, you're about to retire from, it sounds like your current company. Um, it sounds like you work for a company, um, and you're about to retire soon. It doesn't sound like you live where, um, it sounds like um, you work far away from your current um Maybe you want to move back to your hometown. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you want to move back to your hometown or a place you used to live. Um, wherever it is, I don't think it's where you're currently at in the um, world and energetic space. Um, I heard you want to move back home. So, you know, some people have 20 previous homes. Some have one. So it could be your hometown you grew up in or another place you have lived at. Confirmation from my intuitive kitty, by the way. Come on, baby. So how that resonates in your life. Um, but freedom is yours is basically, um, I'm feeling the retirement energy and being able to move back wherever you want to move back in a previous place you have lived previously. However, this resonates in one's life. Freedom to retire, freedom to enjoy your life, freedom to move back to wherever, wherever place you want to um, um, move back to. Actually, it's fat boy, not intuitive kitty. What's wrong, baby? He hasn't done this all day. Come on, booger. So you plug it in, how it resonates. If it resonates for you. And a Virgo masculine 
is finally free. Single. Single baby. We'll still have to deal with the water sign, but we'll keep this water sign feminine very, very, very at bay. Okay. And uh, Virgo masculine is finally free, I've heard. Um, uh, it sounds like free of a water sign femme in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you um, You will still uh, have to deal with this water sign femme, but um, you will keep her at bay. So I feel like you're going to put boundaries up with her. I think she might be an ex-wife or, uh, or a partner or a um, mother of your ch child or children. How that resonates. I, you have to deal with her in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, still. So, but you're going to put boundaries up. So I feel she's a, either an ex-wife or a baby mother or something of that nature. Um, but um, I feel um, y'all have either, I feel you definitely do not live with her. I feel you probably lived with her in the past or you were legally married to her. Uh, but somehow you're free from her. Um, you're free from her, whether it was a co habitual living situation or a legal marriage or something of that nature, but somehow you are free of her and you are single by yourself. So good for you. I heard freedom, baby. So um, I think you're happy about this. Whoever you are, Virgo masculine, and it's a water sign feminine you have detached from. Um, I'm feeling legally marriage detached from. Um, she could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you have not, um, if it wasn't a legal marriage, it could have been um, a mother of your child or children, and maybe you're paying her child support now. Um, and so there's boundaries set there. Uh, but I don't feel you live in the same house with her, for sure, for sure, for sure. Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back. Lots of spiritual love to one particular Virgo. Lots of downloads. Some of you are readers, some of you are not. Oh, wow. I heard, that's beautiful. So, whoever you are, you get downloads from the universe. I'll tell you that, Virgo. Um, some of you are readers, some of you are not. So, I think some of you publicly display that you get downloads from the universe. Um, some, I, I don't think you tell people publicly that you do. Um, but whether you do or not publicly display that you get downloads, you do. Whether it's psychic medium abilities, spare, um, clear audience, clear um, buoyance, or dreamscape abilities, you do get downloads from the universe. Now, like I said, whether you publicly display that you get them or not, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Some you're readers and some you're not. But whether you are a reader or not, whether you publicly display you, you get downloads from the spiritual universe or not, you do. So um, spiritual activity high here uh, from the spiritual universe, whoever you are. Spirit has your back. They are, they are, um, they are with you. I think it's your ancestors. Um, absolutely think it's your ancestors, uh, Virgo. I didn't hear it was, but I feel it is, obviously. I think it's your ancestors. You need spiritual downloads. I know mine do. So you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, I feel your ancestors that give you all these spiritual downloads or help you give uh, you these spiritual downloads, I feel it might be an earth sign. Ancestor, ancestors. And I'm serious about that. Successful outcome to your problem. A Virgo is about to turn in an Aquarius very soon. Some an Aquarius, some a Libra. For money laundering and abuse and exploitation of the past. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a Virgo is about to turn in um, some an Aquarius, some a Libra um, for... Abuse, exploitation, and money laundering of the past. So successful outcome to your problem. I think, Virgo, if this resonates for you, is you turning in. I think you know this information on this money laundering and fraud and theft. 
and fraud and theft. So money laundering, fraud and theft, abuse and exploitation of the past. Those are huge, huge, huge crimes. But I think you know the information. Maybe for some, I feel, I didn't hear you were blackmailed, but I feel you were blackmailed not to tell this information in the past, but um, you're about to release it. Um, for some, it's a false marriage involved in this. For some, it's a false marriage involved in this. So we've got abuse, fraud, theft, exploitation, money laundering, all kinds of charge after charge after charge after charge. Um, but some, I do feel some of you were blackmailed in the past enough to say that, um, speak on this, but it sounds like you feel comfortable enough to speak on it now. Um, I think for some, you might be collaborating, collaborating with an investigator or about to collaborate with an investigator or law enforcement or federal agents or something of that nature. But, you're, uh, but I feel you feel comfortable enough now to say it. Um, I feel for some, you want to wash your hands of it and you um, don't want to be an accessory to a crime or crimes um, and be connected in as an accessory. So you're about to reveal the information to wipe your hands clean of it. I mean, I didn't hear that either. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. And I think that's going to be the su successful outcome to your problem. For some, it's an Aquarius. For some, it is a Libra. For some, it is a Gemini. For some, it is a Gemini. So some it's an Aquarius, some it's a Gemini, some it's a Libra. They could have Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Jupiter charts. That's all, this air sign energy is strong. Um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, Virgo. Let's see if we hear anything else. Someone's about to sell their home soon, a Virgo. Okay, heard a Virgo's about to sell their home soon. Well, congrats to you, Virgo. That could be a successful outcome to your problem too. Maybe you're, um, it could be for the one Virgo that's about to retire and move back to the um, place um, that they used to live, possibly. Um, selling your home and getting the money and moving back wherever you want to move back. That could be the successful outcome to your problem too. Selling the home we're in your current location, having the money to move back to wherever you want to move back. Or if it's not that, you just want to sell your home. Maybe you're going to move into a smaller home or a larger home or with somebody else. But some kind of selling of a home energy. Some kind of successful outcome to your problem. Kite, vacation. Hawaii for one, Connecticut for one, Florida for one, Colorado for one. Wow, I heard Hawaii, uh, Hawaii, Florida, Connecticut, and Colorado. Hawaii, Connecticut, Florida, and Colorado. Um, so sounds like lots of vacations about to come in the universe for you guys. Um, some of you guys. It sounds like you're about to vacation to Hawaii, some Florida, some Connecticut, some Colorado. So vacation energy strong, Bergs. You plug it in, how it resonates. And for one Virgo, they're going to invite a feminine energy on a vacation with them. She has no idea you're about to do this. Okay, and for one of you guys, you're about to invite a feminine energy on a vacation along with you. I heard she has no idea you're about to invite her. So whoever this feminine energy is in your life and how she applies, but apparently she has no idea you are even thinking about inviting her on this vacation. Uh, for some, it could be a vacation to Hawaii, Florida, Connecticut, or uh, Colorado, or it could be a vacation somewhere else. But it's some feminine energy. I think for some, you have contemplated inviting her for maybe a hot minute. For some, you might have just thought about inviting her, but she has no clue you're going to invite her, um, whoever this feminine energy is and how she applies. You could be a masculine or feminine energy about to invite her, but it's definitely a feminine energy you're about to invite. Um, maybe she has the bikini somebody is about to really, really enjoy, it sounds like. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Prosperity.
A Virgo's daughter's business is about to blow up in a very positive way. T-shirt company. About to help this daughter run the business. Oh, wow, Virgo. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So whoever you are, you have a daughter. Um, I feel like it's an adult daughter. Um, I didn't hear it was, but I strongly feel it is. Um, your daughter, I think she's adult age, and she has a t-shirt company business, I heard. I heard it's about to blow up in a positive way. So it sounds like she's about to get lots of business, um, and her business is about to prosper and flourish. Um, I heard you're about to help her run the t-shirt company business. So that could be the same one that's about to retire and move back home, possibly. Um, possibly or not. But if it is or isn't, if this message resonates with you, um, you're definitely an adult, Virgo, and you, I think you have an adult um, daughter. And she has a t-shirt company business. It's about to prosper and flourish, and sounds like you're about to energy shift and help her um, run this um, t-shirt company business. So prosperity with this t-shirt company business of your daughters. A Virgo masculine is about to find a lot of alcohol, empty alcoholic bottles in their teenager's room soon. It's about to piss them off. Oh, well, that's not prosperity. Well, I guess it's prosperity when you find the bottles. Maybe you can take some action. Just saying. Um, a Virgo is about to find, I heard a lot of empty alcoholic beverage bottles, basically, in um, their teenager's room. Um, I heard it's going to cause you to take great, great action. So I think prosperity, maybe you're going to get him some help. Maybe you're going to get him some help. I hope to God you get him some help. It's a teenager. I mean, dear God, it's a teenager. They still have life. They still have chances. Um, please get him some help. I'm not telling you what to do, but that's exactly what I would do. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. Everybody's got free will. But if you want success and prosperity in this situation, you would get your um, child some help. Um, and I'm serious about that. For some, it's a stepchild. For some, it's a stepchild. Or so, so for some, I feel it's a child child, like a biological child. For some, it's a stepchild. Um, yeah, um, I'm feeling the prosperity here is you stepping up and being a good parent and getting them some damn help and um, monitoring them um, because I, I buy bulls. So it's not, they just didn't try one and it sounds like it's empty bottle, um, bottles. So it sounds like they might have a drinking problem. I, as a teenager, which is, dear God Almighty, I'm 38. I've never had a drinking problem ever in my life. I couldn't imagine having a drinking problem at freaking 16 or 17. And I'm serious about that. That That's serious. Um, so hopefully you get them some help. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. Transcending. A Virgo is about to help expose a swinger situation on a ball team. Parent swinger situation. It's about to piss off a particular husband, but you don't care. You won't change. Holy crap, Virgo. Well, you know your bad self, if this resonates for you. Um, I heard you, um, whoever you are, you can be masculine or feminine, but I heard you're about to... Um, expose a swinger parent swinger situation on a ball team so it's not it sounds like it's children's ball team whatever ball team this is it could be baseball football softball volleyball whatever ball um but um it sounds like it's parents doing the swinger thing um and it sounds like it's minor children that play but the parents are have some kind of funky swinger situation going on um and it sounds like parents of the ball team doing this. Yikes. But I heard you're about to expose it. Um, and it's going to piss off a particular husband. Now, it could be your husband is about to piss off or somebody else's husband. But somebody's husband is about to be pissed off that you're about to expose this swinger situation with all these parents on this ball team. Swinging together is what it sounds like. And that's gross. I have children and I've been on many ball teams um, for my kids. And if anybody ever asked me to be on a, uh, in a swinger situation in a ball team, I'd laugh in their face. Because that's just disgusting. That's disgusting and nasty. And whoever you are, you don't agree with that either. And I feel you feel the same way. I heard you want it exposed and you want it nixed, basically. Um, and I don't blame you. So it feels like you're about to have prosperity here. I think 
wherever you're about to go to about this, I think you're probably about to go to the coach or coaches. Hopefully the coach or coaches isn't involved in this. Um, I, hopefully not, but you're about to go to somebody, um, coach or coaches or board or somebody to get this nixed. It sounds like you're about to have prosperity in this. Um, so kudos to you because that's nasty. That's just nasty. It's nasty, it's nasty, it's nasty. Um, nobody should have to be part of any kind of ball team where the parents or anybody is swinging in the ball team. Um, we've had a lot of that energy in here recently, a lot. So I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Transcend, transcending. Spiritual awakening strong for one particular Virgo. One Virgo masculine has been really, really trying to work behind a Leo feminine's back in a co-working situation. Really, really talking mad smack about her. But it's about to backfire on him in a huge way and he's about to realize this. Holy crap, so you plug it in how it resonates. So at least one of you guys is about to have a spiritual awakening. It could be this low vibrational masculine Virgo in a co-working situation or it could be any other Virgo you only you know your story not anybody else but one of you guys is having a spiritual awakening or is about to so um whoever you are Virgo that's about to have a spiritual awakening it could be the one about to expose this swinger activity in the ball team it could be the one about that just got divorced it could be Anybody, it could be any of you guys, only you know your story, not anybody else, but at least one of you guys about to have a spiritual awakening. And I've had many spiritual awakenings in my spiritual path, um, just to be honest with you, many, and they all have been very beneficial for me. Um, just seriously, they have in, in their own way. So um, kudos to you. Spiritual awakenings are never easy, but they are necessary for spiritual growth. Um, and that's just the truth. So um, kudos to whoever that is. Uh, on your spiritual journey and spiritual path. Now you could be religious and spiritual, or you could just be spiritual. However, that plugs in one in one's life, but you're definitely spiritual. Um, however, that plugs in. Um, and then a, a low vibrational Virgo masculine, I heard, has been basically gossiping and slandering a Leo feminine in a workplace. I heard um, for a very strategic reason. Very. I heard for a very strategic reason. So he's been freewheelingly gossiping and slandering a Leo fan for very strategic reasons in his workplace. Um, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on him and he's about to realize this. So I think he's about to have a spiritual awakening too. Or if it's not a spiritual awakening, just an awakening that it's about to backfire on his ass. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. It's a low vibrational Virgo masculine in a workplace situation with a Leo feminine. Uh, he could have Virgo in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Hamda, Jupiter, charts. The Leo Femme he's in the workplace with could have Leo in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Him, Red, Jupiter, Charts. Only you know your story, low vibrational Virgo masculine that's been talking shit about a Leo Femme or not. Only you know your story. So you plug it in how it resonates. Confirmation. That's fat boy. Come on, buddy. A Virgo masculine has been looking into a home recently, but they're about to realize home prices are about to go sky high. It's about to piss off this Virgo masculine in a huge way. Okay. Heard a Vir Virgo masculine has been looking in a home recently, or home or homes, how that resonates. I heard home. Um, but I heard um, the home prices are about to go sky high, and it's about to piss them off in a huge way. So, Whoever you are, Virgo Masculine, um, it sounds like you want to move. Um, now, whether it's long distances or short distances, I mean, you know your story, not anybody else, but it's a new space of living, I'll tell you that. Whether you're going to want to rent or buy, I'm not sure. But those prices are about to go, I heard they're about to go sky high. So it's about to go up and it's about to go up hugely. Whether you wanted to buy this home or you wanted to rent it, I heard it's going to piss you off. So I, um, you're about to realize you're, 
going to have to pay a hell of a lot more than you thought you were going to have to is what I'm thinking here. Because um, wherever location you're about, to, um, you wanted to move or whatever home or homes you were looking into, sounds like the prices are about to go. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. You're a Virgo masculine if that resonates for you. A Gemini masculine is about to betray a Virgo masculine in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge. This Virgo masculine is about to turn it around on this Gemini masculine in a huge way. Holy moly. Hey. So, um, Virgo masculine energy again, um, I heard a, um, a Gemini masculine is about to betray a Virgo masculine in a huge way. So whoever this Gemini masculine is to you and however they apply, it could be a friend, a former friend, a friend of me, a family member, a coworker, a neighbor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, a lover, past lover, et cetera. But, um, he has Gemini, he could have Gemini on his sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter charts, but whoever he is to you and how he applies, he's about betraying betray you in a huge way, but I heard you're about to transmute the energy and you're about to turn it around on him um, and transmute it and turn it around on him. So, and it's going to piss him off in a huge way. So, however, that resonates, Virgo masculine. Um, you're about to find out about this betrayal, but you're about to transmute the energy and transmute it back. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And um, let me see if I hear anything else. Y'all, the shortest reading so far. A Virgo is about to get a phone call from an investigator about a meth lab. A Virgo is about to get a phone call from an investigator about a meth lab is what I just heard. So one of you guys is about to get a phone call from an investigator about a meth lab. So we had meth lab energy strong in Virgo's last reading. Um, so one of you guys is about to get a phone call back from an investigator about a meth lab is what I heard. So I think one of you guys has provided information previously about a meth lab or meth labs, um, or some kind of, yeah, I think information on meth lab or meth labs and investigators about to call you back. Um, however that resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices and namaste.